Hello YouTube and video fanatics. Welcome back to our channel, the Core Creative Media Channel, shooting live in Beijing. Well, not live, but we are shooting in Beijing, pre-recorded in our studio here. And today, what we're going to talk about is microphones. So we have all kinds of microphones here. We have wireless, lapel mics, we have shotgun mics, we have just straight on board camera mics, we have mini wireless mics, and we have a, a lapel recorder from Tascam from various different companies. And I figure today we'll take a little bit of time and go through all these and see what each one sounds like and see if we can get some good sound as some very budgeted uh, microphones out there. Most ranging from the highest about $300, $350 to uh, at the lowest maybe $50, $25 with this little guy here. Um, but we'll plug them all up, we'll do some sound recording, and we'll test one, each one out and we'll let you hear the difference between one and the other. This should be fun and we'll see if we can find some great microphones at a very budgeted price, all right? So let's just kick right into it and we'll talk a little bit about each microphone and uh, give you a little backstory on it and what it's capable of, okay? So I think first up, we'll start off with our shotgun mics. This is a very affordable shotgun mic. It's the Aisden SGM-1X. Um, usually brand new, about $130, I believe, if I remember correctly. No phantom power, fairly cheap, you know, um, XLR input, which is great. Uh, AAA battery uh, powered, and it's also got low pass. Next, we'll have a little onboard shotgun mic. Uh, this actually has no power to it whatsoever. It's just a simple three and a half millimeter jack. Just plug into the camera. This is probably gonna be the least uh, powerful and the worst sounding microphone we have in our set. I didn't spend any money on this. So uh, I got this in a package set with a camera I bought and more than likely, this is going to be pretty pathetic sound, but it was free. So I figure we'll throw it in there and test it out and see if even free you can get good audio. Next, we'll move on to our a little something a little bit different. This is a wireless recorder. It's the Tascam DR10L. It is a lapel microphone with a recorder on it that records multiple tracks. Uh, the one cool thing about this guy is it has a backup track, so if you peek, you'll always have an alternative track on here uh, that will not be damaged audio. It kind of records at a little bit lower level than the original level. It also does MP3 and WAV formats. This is really cool. This has been kind of a real fun little item of mine. It's a good way to get that wireless sound um, without using a shotgun mic. You know, shotgun mics pick up everything around you. This guy is going to only pick up the voice right here. So I kind of love this guy. It's got great audio. I've tried this, used this quite a bit in my kit and um, records to micro SD card, which is pretty cool. Downside is you can't monitor your audio. You can only look at this little guy here and see what your audio is doing, but you can't put on headphones and actually monitor this audio. So that's kind of a downside to that, but all in all, great little recorder. It does record audio, which is beneficial. Next, we'll talk about the Yichuang YC WM800 
wireless microphone set. It is a lavalier omni condenser microphone and it has two transmitters and one receiver. It comes in this nice little case. It's a lot like uh, other microphones out there like the Sony and the Sennheiser wireless mic sets. So we'll take a listen to that today and see how good and how clear that is. Next, we have one of my personal favorites, the Melata WM12 wireless set. Now, this is a four, four transmitter, one receiver set. Uh, all wireless, lavalier microphone, uh, self-powering. You don't have to have batteries to this, unlike this one here. Uh, the next thing we have is the Melata WM10 microphone set. This is a two transmitters, one receiver set, which is usually my favorite. If I'm going to go out, I would probably double up these sets and maybe not so much do uh, the four uh, transmitters because, you know, it, it, you, you would have to have a mixer at that point to record those four tracks. I'm only getting two tracks of audio straight into the camera, so I'm probably going to use something like this and then on a secondary camera use this and mix them together. The next thing we have is also from our friends at Melata is the S9900 Pro. This is much like the Rode Goes, uh, much cheaper than the Rode Goes, but on the same level, very tiny wireless microphone set. It also has uh, lavalier lapel mics that it comes with that you can plug these up to these little transmitters. So we'll check those out. Uh, I haven't reviewed these yet. Everything else here I've reviewed except for the Tascam and the shotgun mic, the ASTEN shotgun mic, but everything else I've already reviewed here and not this one though yet. So we're going to get a first viewing or listening onto this microphone set and see how cool these are. So let's plug everything up and see how well everything works. I do have to say right now I am using the WM10 from Melata. Right now it's pretty clear. I really like this microphone. Uh, very little audio editing when I go into the mixing room and I just have to play with the levels, maybe get rid of some hums back there. I have a little hum back here. But we'll check out noise and see how, how bad everything really is. So let's plug them up. All right, so we're all plugged up here. I'll move this just a little bit more straight in front of me. So we got our Aizden shotgun mic here. We have the cheap little no-name straight to the camera microphone. It's mounted all the way back there on the camera. Uh, we are using the Tascam little recorder, the DR10L and it is recording. It is plugged up in the middle here. Okay. On my left, we have the Melata WM10 wireless microphone set. And on my right, we have the Yi Chuang wireless microphone set. So with all of these going at the same time, check, 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 check. We're going to see each one. I'll turn them off, I'll turn them on, and we'll see what kind of quality we get at each microphone. So I'm just going to dual record everything as it is, and then I'll take it into the editing room and I'll separate all these out. And then uh, we'll test some other ones later because I can only do so much testing with so many microphones, but these are the three main ones. The Aizden SGM-1X, the cheap no-name on-camera microphone, the Melata WM-10, and the Yi Chuang YC WM-800, and the Tascam DR-10L. That's a lot of microphones. So this is not just a test for everybody out there, but this will also be a test for myself. And I'll figure out which one has the best sound, minimal noise, 
minimal mixing and editing and effects that I have to do in the editing room. And I'll pick those to take in my bag and shoot on my personal commercials and interviews. Okay? So let's stop recording and let's swap some things around and check them out. Okay. All right. We've set up again. We've got the Aced In shotgun mic that we're going to use for reference. We've, We've got, got the, the Mulata WM12. WM this is the one with four transmitters and one receiver. And the Mulata S900. Now the S900 is a little bit different than some of the other wireless lapel mics that we were using or wireless lavaliers. Uh, on my left here, this is the Malata WM12. Pretty standard, just that it has the four receivers instead. And then on my other side is the little baby guy, the Malata S900. All right. So we'll test this in two different ways. The thing about the S900 is that it has a microphone up on top also. So you get the lapel mic here and you have a microphone up on top here if you want to record audio that way. So we'll test this out. This is the WM12. This is the S900. And then I will unplug from here and we'll test the S900 microphone that is built in. Here we go. This is the S900 built-in microphone. So we want to really see how the audio on this guy holds up versus maybe you do want to use the lapel mic, but maybe you can just get by with this. The beauty about these little guys are, is how small they are. They are internal battery operated. Also, Also, the WM12 is internal battery operated. That's plus and minus, you know, eventually these batteries will run dry and you may not be able to record audio to them. Uh, it is powered uh, USB-C, which is pretty cool. Uh, you could probably add a battery pack onto this USB-C style, and, but you know, that would get bulky, some kind of USB battery bank for that. Uh, this is also USB-C, which means you can do the same thing with this guy too. So let's take all this to the editing room and we'll show you guys which each and every one sounds like. That concludes our audio test. So stay tuned for more audio tests. Uh, I'll do these individually and want to see them out without recording a whole bunch of microphones all at the same time. I will review the S900, the Malata S900 Pro, and I'll also do a full review of the Malata WM12, and then I'll re-review the Malata WM10s, and we'll look back at the Yi Chuang uh, WM800, and I can't wait to get into the editing room and see what this all sounds like. If you like this video, go ahead, hit that subscribe. If you didn't like this video, Hit that subscribe anyways. Give me your comments. See if you're interested in these. I'll show you where you can buy them. If you're not interested and you hate these videos, leave a comment. Tell me how much you hate my videos. All comments are welcome. I don't care. Blast me. We'll see you next time.